Sabahan cuisine is a regional cuisine of Malaysia. As in the rest of Malaysian cuisine, Sabah food is based on staples such as rice with a great variety of other ingredients and different methods of food preparations due to the influence of the state's varied geography and indigenous cultures that were quite distinct from the regional cuisines of the peninsular Malaysia. Sabah along with its neighbor of Sarawak is famous for their multi-ethnic population. Dishes among the foods and beverages particular to Saba are Amplang is a type of cracker made from Spanish mackerel, tapioca starch and other seasonings, and then deep fried. Bo for me Chinese, bao fu chao mian pinyin, bao fu chao mian is a speciality of Beaufort town. Handmade noodles are smoked, then wok tossed with meat, usually slices of char shao and marinated pork, or seafood and plenty of choy sum, and finished off with a thick viscous gravy. Basu, also called noonsam or tonsam, is the Kadazan Dusan term for a traditional recipe of tangy fermented meat. Smoked and pulverized bua kaluak nuts from the kepiang tree Pangium edul, which grows in Malaysia's mangrove swamplands, or pangi is a key ingredient and acts as a preservative. Combined with rice, salt and fresh meat or fish, the mixture is then placed into a sealed jar or container for fermentation. Contemporary variants for basu add bananas and pineapples to the mixture. Pinongian is a variant where rice is omitted to produce a final product which is much less tangy in taste, however, unlike basu, Pinongian must be cooked before serving. Hinaba is a traditional Kadazan Dusan dish of raw fish cured in lime juice. Typically, firm-fleshed white fish like mackerel, hinava sada tangi, is marinated with lime juice, sliced shallots, chopped chili, julienne ginger and grated dried seed of the bambongan fruit. Optional additions may include sliced bitter gourd. Hinava may also be made with prawns, hinava gipan. Kelupas is a type of food wrapped in leaf. Katupad is a type of food wrapped in leaf. Linangod is a type of leaf parcel, usually eric or tarap leaves, filled with a combination of cooked rice and root vegetables like sweet potatoes and yam. Alternate names known by Kadazan Dusan communities in other districts include linopod and cinnamazan. Nasi combos is a rice dish from the loaded community. Glutinous rice is first cooked with young coconut water, and then mixed with the grated tender flesh of a young coconut. The rice is traditionally served in a hollowed-out coconut shell. Nansum bambongan is a pickle made from half-ripe bambongan fruit mixed with grated dried bambongan seed and salt, sealed in a tightly covered jar and left to ferment for weeks. Ngiu chap Chinese, niu shane pinyin, niu shane, is a Chinese-influenced dish of beef or buffalo broth served with noodles, usually immersed in the soup with slices of poached beef or buffalo meat, meatballs, stewed brisket, tendon, liver and various awful parts. An iconic Sabahan dish, Ngiu chap has many different variations, from the lighter Hainanese style to heartier Hakka-influenced flavors, and even village-style Ngiu chap adapted for indigenous tastes. Nuba Liat Nuba Tinga is an ordinary rice wrapped with banana leaf or nyuric leaf. This dish is to ease the farmer and the traveler for them to carry for a long journey. Usually this dish is very famous among the Loon Bawang Lundaya people and this dish is a bit similarity to the Linangat. However, this Nuba Tinga Nuba Laya is different because the rice is very soft and can bitten easily by senior citizen. Nuba means rice, laya means soft while tinga means wrapped thus nuba laya means soft rice and nuba tinga means wrapped rice. Piran a manak is a chicken curry made from a sautéed rempa base and grated coconut, then braised in coconut milk. This dish is very popular in the Iranan community. Variants include fish piran a sada and unripe jackfruit piran a badak. Pinasakan or Pinarasakan is a home-style Kadazan Dusan dish of fish simmered with tak of akab, dried skin of a mangosteen-like fruit which functions as a souring agent, or slices of unripe bambongan, as well as fresh turmeric leaves and rhizome. Sagal or Sinigal is a baju speciality of fish which is first blanched and minced, then sautéed with turmeric, garlic, ginger, onions and crushed lemongrass. Traditionally the oil used is rendered fish liver oil, usually from the same fish used to prepare this dish. 
This dish may be prepared with shark, stingray and even puffer fish. Sang Nyuk Mian, Chinese, Shangru Mian, Pinyin, Shangru Mian, is a dish of noodles served with pork broth, originating from Tawau. Very popular with the non-Muslim communities of Sabah, it is named after the poached to order slices of tender marinated pork served in pork broth which is flavored with fried lard bits. The noodles, usually thick yellow noodles, are either dressed in dark soy and lard, or dunked into the soup along with the aforementioned pork slices, vegetables, meatballs and offal. Sinilao refers to Kadazan Dusan style smoked meat, which is usually wild boar or bakas. Barbecued on a char grill and eaten with rice and dipping sauces, Sinilao bakas can be found and purchased in rural areas and towns. Halal versions substitute wild boar for other game meats like deer. Sanamu baka is a loon bawang, lunday a traditional food. This is a tangy fermented food same like bosuo but the difference is sanamu baka only suitable for wild bear meat. Tompik is a baju food made from grated tapioca, eaten as an alternative starchy staple to rice. The grated tapioca is squeezed to dry out mixture and crumbled, then fried or toasted until golden brown. Grated tapioca may also be packed into cylindrical shapes and steamed until it forms into a chewy tubular cake called putu, another traditional baju staple. Tuaran mi Chinese, do ya lan mian, pinyin, do ya lan mian, is a speciality of Tuaran town. This dish of wok fried fresh handmade noodles is well known in the nearby city of Kota Kinabalu as well as in neighboring Tamparuli town, where the localized adaptation is called Tamparuli Mi, Chinese, Dan Bo Luo Li Chao Sheng Mian Pinyin, Dan Bo Luo Li Chao Sheng Mian. The noodles must first be toasted with oil in the wok to prevent it from clumping together, then blanched to reduce the stiff crunchy texture from toasting. The final step involves stir-frying the noodles to a dry finish with eggs, vegetables, and meat or seafood. Tuhao, Etlingera coccinea, is a type of wild ginger, specifically the stems of the same plant popularly served as a relish by the Kadazan Dusan community. The stems are typically chopped up and served fresh with lime juice, or mixed with local chives and chili peppers then cured with salt and vinegar. A more recent recipe called Surrounding Tuhao involves slicing Tuhao stems into thin floss like shreds, which is then sautéed until it becomes golden and crisp. It has a distinctive scent which is said to have a polarizing effect even among indigenous Sabahans. Ubi Don Kayu is the tapioca leaves and also the traditional food for Murat and Loon Bawang, Lundaya. Beverages Non-alcoholic beverages Saba tea is the main local tea brands of Saba. Tenem coffee is the main local coffee brands of Saba which processed using traditional firewood and drum rotation methods followed for almost 50 years without adding any artificial ingredients or colorings. Alcoholic beverages Bihar or Ba is the Kadazan Dusan variant of palm wine made with sap collected from the cut flower bud of a young coconut tree and a special type of tree bark called rasak, endemic to the Tuaran district. Pieces of the rasak is dipped into the coconut nectar during the fermentation process, which contributes a reddish hue to the final product. Lying is a rice wine made exclusively from glutinous rice and natural yeast called sasad. Bittersweet in taste profile, lying is a speciality of the Kadazan Penampang community, where it is still commonly brewed at home. Lying can be used to make chicken soup, sup monic lying, used in marinades, or even as an ingredient for meat pastries and stir-fried dishes. Commercially produced lying, much pricier than the home-brewed version but consistent in quality, is also available in select souvenir shops. Lying and similar rice wine variants from other Kadazan Dusan communities may also be distilled to produce a hard liquor called Montoku or Talak. Tinongelin is a slightly sparkling alcoholic drink made from maize. Tinongelin is a rungus speciality and is usually served during festive occasions, or as refreshments for guests during the performance of a ritual dance called Manjigal Sumundai. See also Sarawakian cuisine Penang cuisine Malaysian cuisine 
List of Malaysian dishes References External links Media related to cuisine of Malaysia at Wikimedia Commons